Three, two, one, go. Timo has been taking over the internet and the woodworking community has been eating it up. Being the jealous little kid that I am, I had to jump on the bandwagon. And when the brand reached out to send me some of their tools, of course I agreed. And then I requested every single tool I could find on their website. They just showed up, let's dig into it. If you're not familiar, Timu is one of those brands that is selling incredibly affordable products from overseas China. here in the US market. And they've got like millions of SKUs, it feels like. Everything from like clothing to obviously tools and such. It's becoming quite popular and you can get into a bunch of stuff for super cheap. The total value of this palette of tools is roughly around 1,750 bucks. And so if you're a beginner looking to get into woodworking or tools or anything, this could be a viable option. And my plan is to kind of dive into all this stuff and see what it's like compared to some of the stuff I've already got. Is it junk? Is it good? Would I recommend it? And more or less, see what all the fuss is about. We've all seen the damn TikToks on this thing. This thing I think can cut through space grade aluminum cable. So let's open some of this stuff up. We've got a mixture of power tools, hand tools. So the boys are gonna give me a hand opening this stuff up. For the most part, what we're trying to figure out here is like what all the hype is about one. And two, if you're a beginner looking to get in the tools, is this an actual good way to do it? Cause some of this stuff is like a couple dollars and it's very comparable well, supposedly to the big names that we see here in the States. So we've got a ton of tiny little packages that I'm really looking forward to cracking into cause I ordered this stuff months ago and well, let's be honest, my memory is completely shot. I got a reciprocating saw head. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> but it goes on a drill. Oh, dude, I've been seeing a lot of videos on that kind of stuff where like you can turn a drill into anything. Look at this. I think it's a router table. Or what? Well, I pull this stuff up. Sam's going to bust out his laptop and uh, pull up some of the pricing. <laughs> I love it. This is hilarious. Look at this thing. Oh, look at that. Right. There's zero instructions. This is good because I could barely read. Something for a palm rounder. That is a cabinet hardware jig. Mm, I don't know. That's all speculation. Is this plugs into a drill? Yeah, this is a rip reciprocating saw adapter for a drill. Which sounds terrifying. Why is the table at midget height? Sam said he was going to surprise me for the holidays with a trench of power to my tables. It's January. Trench of power. My goodness. I mean, we're off to a great start. Baggy of random hardware, no instructions. This is like a router table for ants. For ants. How am I supposed to put this together? You have the largest hands ever. I do. <laughs> oh, we got a loose screw. Oh boy. Sam, did you get a price on this sucker? $63. 63 <laughs> doll hairs for this tiny little router table. It's false. That I can't seem to get together because it seems like some of the machining is slightly off. Oh boy, oh boy. I wonder if they were thinking that you wouldn't use the miter gauge. You getting anything good over there, bud? I don't know. This might be a power tool. Javin. Javin? That's my favorite power tool brand. Save that one for later. While I'm putting this thing together, let's see if Chris can put together these corner clamps that are supposedly perfect machining. There's like four pieces. What is this? I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. When you click on the link for this, it says it's discontinued. Perhaps it was, it was ahead of its time. It was too good. <laughs> it take it off the website. No, 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 no. Actually, I have an attachment like that, except it goes straight to the motor. It doesn't like go into the spindle. From a Craftsman set that I bought 11 years ago when I was getting started, because I was like, oh man, I can use one drill and do all his stuff. I never used it. <laughs> one tool to rule them all. Don't you even bring up what I think you're gonna bring up. Hey, you did it. What is that? Also, it's a drawing line ruler. Perfect. That's what we've always Give me another 20 minutes, guys. I'll have this thing together and we can check it out. The directions were very complicated. You wouldn't have read them even if there were. Nah, it's because I can't read. We all know that. Another one too. Maybe if you're a good boy this year, I'll let you take one of them home. Hey, how small the handle is. It's Maybe these are children's tools. I mean, I'm just straight up guessing here. There's only two washers and two of these screws. Okay, we're getting close. Uh, pull up. Grab me a palm router, one with the um, batteries, please. Why are we, oh, is that the hook? Too? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I wonder what this hole's for. Dust extracting? I'm very confused. Is the cat's nose this we're working with? Yes, it is. Oh, I have to assemble it though. What <laughs> <laughs> is this? Third. A uh, third? Working on it? Don't worry guys, I'm only like 20 minutes in. These screws are all different sizes. All right, and this is wrong, I need a palm router. Doesn't fit. 
<laughs> ah, so these are to magnetize your bits and they're actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. You see them a lot on videos about cool tools and hacks. They sent a bunch of them. This isn't gonna work on this, but like that's generally the gist of it. It sits on there and then it can magnetize basically any bit. $2.08, which puts those at like, what? 75 cents a pop? No, 68 cents a pop, something like that, math. Up next, we have this tiny assortment of screws and stuff. Chris, don't you carry one of these like everywhere you go just in case you run into tiny screws? Uh, yeah. Teensy weensy. It's an eyeglass repair kit or something. One handy, but two, probably like a dollar. That a boy. Do you dress yourself in the morning? No. There we go. The only requirement I, I read on that one was you gotta be swole. And two screws lined up. 11 bucks. Wow, that's pretty good. 11 bucks? You think, can it stop a gunshot? Yeah. You know. What about a knife? That should just stab me. <laughs> All right. That is nice. It's wax, wax canvas. And it's it's, it's like, cheaper. But the thing about other wax canvas is they feel so like rigid. This I'm not gonna lie. This thing, I'm over it. Miniature router table. Don't know how I feel about you. <sighs> Someone opened this already, but this is a whetstone. And these things can get kind of pricey. This is a 6,000, 1,000 grit. And I know my stones, like some of them are like a couple hundred bucks. I don't think these are, but you got a price in the sucker? $18.48. $18 and so I'm gonna be honest. Even if it's junk for a beginner, phenomenal price. So they're like 44, 45 bucks if you buy this at Rockler. Probably the exact same thing. Yeah, this is an angle something or I'm not gonna, that noise makes me wanna cry. Probably gotta wait like six months to get it. I don't know, Timu. Some stuff like, like this, not so much. This, um, maybe, maybe. Well, how much are these uh, countersink bits? Listen to this. 10 bucks on Timu, 27 at Rockler. I don't know how the hell I test those. You, they just drill holes. We'll test out the power tools. Check this out. Oh! Yeah. That's neat. Is it an all metal drill stand? Feels like it is. Another router plate. I actually bought some of these to try and fit to our miniature router table to make creators an option. And they say they're universal, but I really don't think they are. 54 on Rockler. 54 on Rockler, 12 bucks on Timu. Chris was working on a drill press like all the straight out of the 60s. It's pretty rad though. Look at all the colors. Green, yellow. Reminds me like a toy from Toy Story. <laughs> An oscillating tool, and the brand name is Heimerdinger, which is <laughs> amazing. There's no battery, so we gotta find something else from Heimerdinger with a battery. This manual looks like instructions for middle schoolers. Five extra spaces between user and manual. 57 bucks. This is brushless though, so this is like 58 bucks. A Ryobi is coming in at 85. It's not toolless. There's a couple nuances to it. If I can find batteries, we're gonna fire some of these up, see um, if they, I don't know, hold their own at all. Because this is where a lot of you guys are looking for value when it comes to shopping on Timu. Power tools are where prices start to go up quick. I wanna meet the person who was capable of wrapping all of this neatly, and then it survived coming overseas. Have you guys ever seen the videos of like what those actual, Freight, massive ships look, freight ships look like coming over. It's terrifying. They're like stacked to the, the moon with pallets, or excuse me, with shipping containers. And this survived that, barely. Out the gate, router bits. We've, got, oh my goodness. An attachment for your drill. That's actual plate shears. Plastic angle finders. These things are all over the internet. They're for finding contours. If you're doing flooring, you butt it up against something weird like that. It'll give you the shape. You transfer that shape to your piece. A brilliant idea. I think I'm on team, you know, gimmicky, cheap stuff. Timu might be the spot. Oh boy. A random aluminum track. You're no good to me. I, maybe we'll have more of them somewhere. Marked in millimeters, upside down, no matter what direction you're looking at it. <laughs> I love this packaging. It just makes my life happy. What did you get? I don't know. Totally dealer no deal. Dealer no deal. I bet you it's like a thousand piece set of bits or something. No, 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 we're gonna open that mystery case later. Oh, dang. Why does nobody listen to me? <laughs> I thought you were joking. These are the precision pocket rulers from Timu. And the one from the competitor is $42.99. So <laughs> there's a massive difference there. Now I'll say this, we've got a stainless steel rule coming from the competition. It's a lot thinner of a profile. 
But like, if you're looking to get into the hobby, don't buy this stuff. This stuff is very overpriced and completely unnecessary for the most part. But for seven bucks, I can't figure out, even if it's made of, I don't know, eighth inch thick aluminum and marked for both Imperial and metric, a reason that you would ever want this over this, minus that thickness. It, ah, like it's not that versatile of a tool to spend 50 bucks on. And this is seven, seven. I can't knock that for seven bucks. I'd go with that all day. Unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> I've been seeing these all over TikTok. These are corner clamps. So if you build cabinets and stuff, it's another product made by a direct competitor that is cheaper here, way cheaper, I'm guessing, because those things are freaking expensive. But I use them a lot. If you were watching any of the cabinet build that I did with the AI, use these to square all the boxes. I don't know if we got any of that footage because Joe was drinking the whole video. It's holidays. <laughs> I mean, these components don't feel very high end, but I don't know if it, it really matters. So three times cheaper. Now these are very, like we have them, these are very small compared to the other ones. So, you know, there's potential for flex, but I mean, they are extruded aluminum. And Chris is very strong. I bet he couldn't break it. I don't hate this stuff. It's an angle grinder, so. Why is he getting all the cool shit? You're just getting the little stuff. Chris is stopping to put stuff together while I'm just trudging ahead. Look at this, pocket hole jig. But I actually don't know if this is better. And this comes with a couple different bits. I don't understand how you can use different bits on a pocket hole machine. 10 bucks versus 40 bucks. If you got no budget and you're looking to get in, I don't know if I hate it. I, I actually kind of do hate it. Chris is definitely getting the cooler stuff. I'm getting major Harbor Freight vibes from Chris's end of the table. And the last box before we dive into some of these power tools. This one is wrapped very interesting. Very interesting. We got some goodies here. 110 piece tap and die set. I mean, what a value. They have value to you. That's what matters. I don't know if I trust any of it. What is going on here? This thing is wrapped insane. John can't open a box. John's mean to his employees. John's an idiot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Why do you think I play with tools on the internet all day? Whoa! It's another humdinger, but it does not have a battery. So we have zero Heimerdinger batteries. Don't know how that happened. I think it actually looks kind of solid. Let's see if it fits. No. Just... Oh wait, does the Javin battery fit it? That fits. Oh, the I bet it does. It would... It's a Heimerdinger. the same color. Oh! It's got a light! <laughs> All right, we're gonna charge some of these batteries and we're gonna crack into these power tools. The top heavy I feel is like the. You're like two feet away from the what is it? Like a tw Tell me it's a 23 gauge pin now. 18 gauge. <laughs> We're gonna get into the Javin tools next. This is where I think a lot of value is supposedly exists in regards to Timu. Oh, by the way, good old stick welder showed up in the boxes. <laughs> so small, it could probably weld together like two nails. These Javin tools are supposedly pretty decent. I've been seeing some videos of them around the internet. This is interesting because it looks just like a Humdinger. Heimerdinger. But it has the Javin name on it. Which is weird because all the other Javins are a different color. And then all the other Javin stuff is supposedly blue come with these cute little bags. I'm gonna give Timu this. I'm gonna give this this. This bag is so much better than some of the blow molded BS that shows up when you buy tools. You guys are all familiar with like the gigantic blow molded cases that show up with some stuff. Rotting landfills right now. Impact driver, hammer drill, what do we call a buzz cutter, recip saw, 18 gauge pin nailer, all on the Heimerdinger battery that we don't have, but it fits the Javin battery, because I guess these are the same. Two Javin miniature 16 volt drills, and this is supposedly full size. The Javins, we've got three full size batteries and two of these batteries. I think Donut did a comp with those and some other popular brands. We might have to do that. Because what we're actually doing is I just launched another channel. It's called John Malecki Unscrewed. All of these unboxing and tool videos are gonna move over to that channel and we're gonna keep the John the Builder channel for building. So if you're into this kind of stuff, head on over there and subscribe to that channel because you're no longer gonna see returns, unboxings, tool tests, any of that over here, and we're gonna have a little bit more fun with some of these tools, testing them out in ways that I don't know if other people have thought of, along with a bunch of other stuff. So check out John Malecki Unscrewed if you like this. Have you figured out a total yet? Oh, he was only a math teacher for brushless. a couple years. Never math. They are brushless. Brushless, nice. Is this one though? Yes. Brushless. This is for like tiny hands. They're not that tiny. They are that tiny. I can't get all of my fingers on it. I think normal hands. 
So for 416 bucks, you can get three drills, a compact impact, a regular impact, cordless nailer, resip, and a bud cutter. From my end, is like my expectation for these tools is not gonna be on par with some of the big brands. But I definitely do think it's gonna be on par with some of the Harbor Freight brands. Is this cheaper and more worth it considering you break something on one of these? I don't know how you're ever gonna fix it. Or, and Harbor Freight has incredible returns, which we would know because I got absolutely gassed on it. So first thing I'm gonna test, nail gun. I'll just say straight up. Straight up. This thing, way more top heavy, but it is slightly more compact in regards to length. Definitely have more bottom weight, but this has a way bigger battery. This one has the a clip on it to clear any jams. The Heimerdinger does not. The Heimerdinger has contact firing, so it's got bump mode and single firing. And I think this one does, yeah. So they both have that. They both have a double trigger. We've got some lights. Rigid first. I've had this thing for years. I like this. It's beefy, but it works great. There's an inch and a quarter, inch and a half nail. It gets below the surface, easy to turn up. The Heimerdinger, it's quick. That's not terrible. Here's the Heimerdinger. You don't have this second mark. I'm not gonna lie, the ergonomics of this thing are awful. <laughs> it's hard to get vertical. Maybe if you're shooting it this way, which it just, didn't work. Maybe we turn up the balls. Mm, maybe not. That one's, it's just a very awkward hold. This one's balanced a lot better. Here's the kicker. Bump mode. Hold the trigger. Not the fastest. Bump mode. I will say it's a little bit quicker in that regard. Bump mode on air. It's about as fast as you can do it. <laughs> it's not awful. It's kind of awful. Feel how weird it is? Well, like the handle's really thin too. Feels like weird in your hand. Oh, so you can't shoot it single in bump mode. That's a deterrent. It's quicker. Yeah, I do like how fast it's, it's louder. Is. But yeah, you're right. Like, it's like a like, weird. I don't know, is it like longer too? It feels like it's Give longer, me a price on not. this, suckers. Yeah, you feel further away from where you're shooting. Yeah, I think it's just because it's so awkward to hold. I don't necessarily love that you can't have it in bump mode always and then pick whether you want to shoot a single or bump. Not a fan of that. On Timu, uh, that nailer is $78.99. All right, so we're looking at a $100 difference in product. Develop your own thought on it. This isn't absolute garbage. I'm kind of surprised. The shape of it's goofy and stuff, but like it's not the worst tool I've ever held. I would not want to hold this all day though. This thing is heavy and goofy. Both of them are heavy though. So what else are we going to test? Let's race. Grab me the Makita impact driver, please. Very interesting. I'm not gonna go crazy in depth with this, but we've got a lot of similarities here, people. <laughs> I mean, even like look at how they did the tops. This I don't think is brushless. You kind of smell it. This is obviously a better tool, but like look at some of those comparisons. Very interesting. We're gonna try a good old fashioned tool fight here. See which one's quicker. If you want me to do a Javin versus all of the impacts I have on the new channel, maybe we'll try it if I get a thousand comments. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is thousand worth it? Two thousand? Three thousand? Last time I said this, we got six thousand. We've got three inch square drive. I'm gonna go right hand on the Javin because I'm right handed. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> I mean, kind of night and day. <laughs> That's got a full battery, just in case anyone was curious. This, I don't think does. No, it's got one. <laughs> one bar. So we're gonna try again. This time I'll try not to slip. I can't drill my left hand. Oh. Pull up, come on over here with your right. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. <laughs> I, you can feel the difference. Now trade me. It's like, I oh, wow. don't want to like throw your hand when you click it. This one just has no movement. Three, two, one, go. I mean, it's not terrible. I wonder if I have any impacts that have brushes in them. I used to have an old Porter cable. I don't necessarily know if this is like port. Don't forget, this has one bar of power battery and this has a full battery. That has a lot to do with a tool fight like this. I am not an expert at racing impact drivers, tons of guys doing that kind of stuff. It's not a terrible tool. It's probably only 40 bucks. You, you break this thing, you're buying another one. 50 bucks, what's the Makita? He keeps walking away like I'm not asking the same questions. You're the best. So 120 bucks versus 60 bucks. Half price. Do I think it's half the quality? I probably wouldn't say half. Probably say it's 30% less of a tool. The Porter cable that I used to have back in the day, very comfortable with this. But 
I think that these are supposed to be their higher end models. We do have a fully charged two amp hour battery. So let's grab, this is a 20 volt. So let's race this sucker. And then do we have like a smaller two amp hour battery we can put on a DeWalt? I like this. The power intervals are seven and H. Low and high. Oh. <laughs> Seven and eight. <laughs> that L looks like a seven. Seven mode. Not and an eight. <laughs> Go me. Okay, so this is a very small tool. A lot smaller. This one's got this cool flashlight. I actually look, like this drill a lot. We're gonna go at... We'll go at high speed on a drill setting here. And these are both... Any drills? I don't know. We'll do another screw test on it. I do like the size of this. This is a nice compact tool. Probably be closer to that 18 volt Makita that I have. Yeah, let's do these first. Can you grab that 18 volt Makita, yeah. black one? Not you, Joe, or Sam. <laughs> that was the most chaotic exchange of words. I never grabbed tools, Joe. Oh, this is such a tiny handle. It is, very small, right? Yeah, size-wise, the subcompact, so this is only an 18 volt. For those of you that don't know, there's no difference in 18 and 20 volts. They just are marketed differently. So it's smaller than the 18 volt. This drill I think is like seven, six, seven years old. Seen a few sunsets. Should we try this one first? This feels like there's nothing in it. Nah. Tease you guys with the DeWalt. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's pretty nice. cool. Oh! He won. Biddy. Yeah, he yeah, won, definitely mighty won. Jamming. Wow, that thing's quick. Let's uh, let's, do, so let's switch. I will say that Sam hates an impact driver, so this is the perfect test for you. So like my hand literally doesn't fit. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Why are you so stressing so hard? I'm trying to make sure it won't slip. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Gotta get a true test. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> We are so terrible. No, we're keeping them from memories. Let's go two-handed on this one. That way neither one of us slips. My wrist hurts from like cocking my hand so tiny. Three, two, one, go. I was slow on the start. Let's see, all right, right here, here. Let's just see. So this is the subcompact, it's a smaller drill. We also have, we got a full battery on that. Two amp hour battery. It's pretty solid. Three, two, one. You've missed two hand. What kind of schmucks are you hiring there? Don't worry, we have a very high budget for screws. Three, two, one, go. And a one by hair. He was a slower start too. But I mean, I gotta say all in all, I'm pretty impressed with this tool. I definitely think we should dive deeper into testing. This thing is so thin, like, like there's just like nothing to it compared to some of these other ones. I wanna test the last impact driver and then we will know truly is Timu. I hate that. I hate when an impact doesn't have an auto. Oh, or you just push it right in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so soft. Okie dokie. This one, it would sound smoother, but. You should have a handle paper or something. Yeah, eat all the balls you guys. Sounds like it. Oh yeah. Oh, they win. I wonder if I can do them without busting. Three, two, one. Dude, that was almost my whole hand just raked off of it. So much faster. Oh, Chris, go ahead. Yeah. Does that thing go up anymore? I mean, it's, it's at three. That's it. Hi. Are you ready? Count us down, Sam, in English. Three, two, one, go. Our first, like, very significant difference, I would say. Uh, that was so. <laughs> this has, like, no balls. No balls! This sounds like a vacuum. This is a 12, like I said, this also has one. Look at this battery. This battery is, like, it's tiny. Gentlemen, start your engines! Oh, that's such a letdown. Gentlemen, start your engines! Three, two, one, go. That sucks. Strong. <laughs> We're running out of two by. Chris doesn't want to lose. He's really trying to make that thing win. Checking the 
should give Chris a head start. Yeah, like, I mean, like go. A, you wait like one, like a one yeah. hour length. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Still got him. Yeah. Jeez, this thing's slow. Let's see if it's better in the drill because supposedly drills are, are are better. Grab a price for those. Sounds faster. It's on low. It's on low. It's on seven. It's on seven. <laughs> Impact driver is also 44. So 40 bucks. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh my God. Oh, I was on, sorry. This wasn't, I gotta drill it. Let's try that again. I can kind of feel a little bit more torque. You ready? Ready? Three, two, one, go. I think it smoked you. If he, I mean, if he didn't get caught there, I, I, I mean, you would have wiped him. Wiped him. Let's try again. Both drills, right? Oh, yeah, that's Let's the try compact again. drill. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. You still I stalled and got yeah. you. Let's switch. Wow. I'm such a big impact driver guy, too. It makes me sad. I mean, dusted. Dusted. Super interesting. So, I mean, I gotta say, 45 bucks? Yeah, 140. 145 bucks with no batteries. So, take your pick. I don't hate these though. The impacts, not real big on those. I don't think that those are too great. I'm gonna guess across the board, Recip and the Buzz Cutter and the rest of those tools are all gonna kind of fall in line. Like, they're not bad bargain tools. You're gonna have to be the judge of that. You saw our little tool fight here. I don't know, should we go a little bit deeper on them? Before we wrap up, we do have the mystery silver case that showed up and I'm guessing it's just a bunch of bits. Yes. That's a bummer. Looks like a hundred or something router bits. So this is 83 bucks. So you're looking at like 80 cents a bit. It's got a lot of versatility in it. I bought actually a kit just like this that I used to have hang on the wall in my shop when I got started. Overall, my opinion of everything to do with Timu is like, I don't know if I'd dive into the power tools and stuff, mostly because, you know, if you don't like it and you want to fix it or it breaks or anything, that might be a little bit difficult. I was impressed by those drills. For the rest of it, the kind of gimmicky tools, they've got some decent stuff. Don't hate these. There's a great price on this the magnets and stuff great price on getting a bunch of that stuff for super super cheap do be careful though like this is another measuring tool that showed up it looks a little bit better than it is i mean it's plastic some of the other ones out there not getting them in plastic and that that's a nut that just fell out i guess the biggest thing i would say from this entire palette of Timu tools. If you're a beginner and you're just getting started, I think these are a great value. The drills specifically, this blue line of Javan stuff seems to be a lot better than the other tools that we got from there. Thank you, Timu, for sending all this stuff out. If you guys want to see me do more tool reviews or tool fights, unboxings, any of this, make sure you're subscribed to the Unscrewed channel. That's where all of this is going to live moving forward. Uh, and then let me know what you want to see more of, because this was fun.